Lesson 8. Basic Arduino Programming. Contents. The topics covered in this lesson are Introduction to Arduino Environment. Hello World, from Arduino. Writing to the Serial Monitor. Reading from the Serial Monitor. Arithmetic Operations. Conditional Operators. Loops. The tasks or activities for this lesson include Arduino Hands on Session. Arduino Environment. Open Arduino IDE and connect the board to the computer via a USB cable. For the first time connection, select the board and port from the Tools menu as shown. The IDE Auto chooses the options when connected to the same port for subsequent connections. Refresher. Arduino Sketch. The sketches usually consist of two main functions void setup and void loop. The commands within the setup function run once during the start of the program and the commands in the loop function run indefinitely. To use the serial monitor, use the serial.begin function to initialize and choose the appropriate boo rate for communication and use the serial.print function to write on the serial monitor. Hello world. This slide shows the basic sketch to the print hello world on the serial monitor. Note. Make sure that the boo rate defined in the serial monitor and serial.begin function is the same. Printing on serial monitor. Serial.print function prints data to the serial monitor as human readable text. ASCII values are printed when the output format is not mentioned, and a particular data type can be printed by specifying the format. Examples are as shown. Refresher. Variables. To store data, variables are used in various types depending on the requirement as shown in the examples. Boolean and char variables occupy 1 byte, int occupies 2 bytes, and float and long occupy 4 bytes. Refresher. Variable scope. The global and local variables function like the president and the governor. President has control over all the states while the governor's powers are limited to the state. In the same way, global variables can be used everywhere in the program while local variables are only accessible in the function specified in. Reading data from serial monitor. A byte is a collection of 8 bits. Every character in Arduino is made of 8 bits. In the example, the sketch reads incoming serial data by the serial.read function. Letters, digits, and special characters keyed are considered as separate bytes and printed one at a time. Reading data from serial monitor. Serial read takes only one character at a time and that too in its ASCII form. If you want to array a multi-digit number you should use the method mentioned here. 48 is an ASCII value of 0. Reading data from the serial monitor. This slide shows the output of the Arduino sketch to take input from the user and print the user input back to the serial monitor. Arithmetic operation. Addition. Note the type of the integer that you are using to perform the addition operation. For decimal numbers, use float variables. Examples are as shown. Arithmetic operations. This slide shows examples of subtraction, multiplication, and division. Focus on the variable data type while assigning the values. Conditional operations. The following symbols can be used to compare two values and to decide the output based on the conditions. If the condition is satisfied, the result is true, and as the condition is not satisfied the result of the condition is false. Use double equal to check two variables for equality. Use exclamation and equal symbols as shown for non-equality. Use less than symbol to compare x less than y. Use the greater than symbol to compare x greater than y. Use less than and equal symbols to compare if x is less than or equal to y. Use the greater than and equal symbols to compare if x is greater than or equal to y. Logical operations. These operations can be used to compound two or more conditional operations. In, logical and, operation, represented by two ampersand symbols, the final operation is true only if both the expressions are true. In, logical or, operation, Represented by two vertical bar symbols, the final operation is true if either of the expressions is true. Logical not is true only if the expression is false. It is represented by an exclamation symbol before the expression. If else statement.
This is the basic control structure and executes the set of statements if the condition is true. The compiler first checks the if condition, and if the condition is true, the set of statements within the condition is executed. If the if condition is false, the compiler moves to the else condition to execute the list of statements. The conditional operators explained before can be used to validate the conditions. The condition can be explained by the rain situation when you are planning to go outside on a walk. You would want to check the outside weather and if it is raining, you would want to use your umbrella. Else you would wear a cap on a sunny day. If else statement. The basic if else conditions can be used by adding multiple else if conditions to check and validate multiple conditions as shown. The same can be explained by the rain situation. If it is raining outside, open your umbrella. If it is cold weather, wear your jacket. If it is neither raining nor cold outside, wear your cap. Nested if else statement. A particular condition can be checked for further multiple conditions within the initial condition. With the rain situation, if it is raining outside, you further have two options to choose from based on the conditions. If it is cold, wear your jacket and open your umbrella, and if it is not cold, just use your umbrella. If it is not raining outside, wear your cap and go for a walk. Compound if else statement. Previously explained nested if else conditions can also be applied with compound if else statements using logical and or logical or operations. The practical scenario would be if it is raining and cold outside, use your umbrella and wear your jacket. If it is raining and sunny outside, use just your umbrella. If it is not raining and not cold outside, and if it is not raining and not sunny, only wear your cap. Switch case statement. Switch cases are used in cases like if statements to control the flow of the program. Switch statements can be used to replace long if statements. The switch body consists of multiple switch cases. If none of the switch case statements are applicable, the default switch case will be executed. Use of break statement at the end of switch case exits from the switch body. Example of a switch case statement. This slide shows the output when you enter cases like 1, 2, plus, and minus. If none of these switch cases match, a default switch case gets executed. For loop, it is a control flow statement used in iteration and to run in a loop. An increment counter is usually used to increment and terminate the loop. The for statement is useful for any repetitive operation and is often used in combination with arrays to operate on collections of data or pins. For loop usually contains three functions, an initializing function, a condition function, and an increment or a decrement function. In this for loop example, 0 to 99 is printed on the serial monitor. Example for, for loop. This slide shows code for blinking the internal LED of Arduino using for loop. While loop, it is also an entry control loop like for loop. In the example sketch, the while loop is used to count up to 25 in fives by adding 5 to a variable each time through the loop. If the sum is initialized to a value of 26 when it is defined, as shown in the sketch, the loop will not run even once because the test expression evaluates to false. Do while loop. All the statements are run in the loop body before the test expression is evaluated. If the sum is initialized to a value of 26 when it is defined, as shown in the sketch, the loop will run once and print 26. The loop will then not run again because the test expression evaluates to false. The tasks and or activities covered in this lesson are Arduino hands-on session. The list of subtasks are Subtask 1A. Print your name continuously on the serial monitor in a new line. Subtask 1B. Print your name only once on the serial monitor. Subtask 2. Write a program to declare variables, with the following names, that store this respective information. 1. My name to store, your name. 2. My group number to store, your group number. 3. My group age to store, the average age of your team members. Print the above variables on the serial monitor. Subtask 3. 
Write a program to read a three-digit number when you type it in the serial monitor using the serial.read function. Store it in a variable. Compute twice that number. Print it on the serial monitor. Subtask 4. Enter an integer on the serial monitor and check if it is odd or even. Input an integer as 27. Your output should be 27 as an odd number. Subtask 5. Write a program to blink the internal LED 10 times with time delays between blinks increasing by 1 second after every blink. Subtask 6. Print the sum of the first 25 natural numbers using a while loop b do while loop c for loop. Subtask 7. Create an infinite loop. For solutions to these tasks, click on solutions. Thank you.